Well, happening now, about 100 people are waiting to be released from Alabama prisons. They were supposed to be released last month. 48's Megan Placa joining us live. And Megan, you found out there were reported problems with the victim notification system. Haley, we're being told that this is a problem years in the making. That's according to nonprofit Alabama Appleseed. 400 people were supposed to be released from Alabama prisons last month. Several people were left waiting inside because victims weren't notified. Alabama Appleseed leaders say that's because state leaders tried and failed to create an automated victim notification system. Efforts date back to 2008. State leaders created their first database, still used today by sheriff's departments. Another effort in 2011 created the Implementation Task Force. Alabama Appleseed leaders say the state launched another database that ultimately, ultimately lacked financial resources. They add that throughout the next decade, money was given and taken away with no substantial changes, all leading up to right now. The problem is nobody said anything, like nobody at the highest levels of these large state agencies seemed to notice that the law was impossible to follow until the week that it was all supposed to happen. The Alabama Department of Corrections does have a victim notification form to fill out. They did send me that form, but they did not answer any of my follow-up questions. Reporting live from Huntsville, Megan Plotka, WAFF 48, on your side.